Now, on just one station, a cell phone recording a confrontation with cops. One man seen with his hands up. I'm asking the officer, I said, sir, please don't shoot me. Please do not shoot me just like that. And he couldn't believe what happened next. When he hit me, I'm like, I still got my hands in there. I said, you know, I just got shot. Tonight, police under fire. Well, despite having his arms in the air, the victim was still shot by officers. He says his nightmare did not end there. Seven's Brian Enton is live with this exclusive from North Miami Police, where some are demanding answers this evening. Brian? Belkis, not only does this man say he was shot while he was just doing his job, helping his autistic patient, but he says after police mistakenly shot him, they left him on the ground bleeding and handcuffed him. This is Charles Kinsey laying in the middle of the road with his hands in the air. North Miami police have rifles pointed at him. Listen as he tries to tell them he's a therapist, just trying to help a confused autistic man who ran away from a group home. Charles remembers the moments before he got shot. I'm going to the ground just like this here with my hands up. And I'm laying down here just like this. And I'm telling him again, sir, it's no need for a firearm. I'm unarmed. He's an artistic guy. He had a uh, toy truck in his hand. He pleads with officers to back down and also tries to calm down his patient. Adado, please. This goes on for minutes, and then Charles says out of nowhere, a North Miami police officer shoots him. I'm like this right here. And when he, when he, shot, when he shot me, it was so surprising. It was like a mosquito bite. And when he hit me, I'm like, I still got my hands in there. I said, no, I just got shot. And I'm standing there, I'm like, sir, why did you shoot me? And his, ex and his words to me, he said, I don't know. North Miami police say it all started when someone called 911 and said there was a man walking around with a gun threatening suicide Monday. But Charles says the gun was a toy truck. The man was the autistic patient. I was really worried, more worried about him than myself because I'm not getting out. As long as I got my hands up, they're not going to shoot me. This is what I'm thinking. They're not going to shoot me. Wow, was I wrong. Charles says what police did after he was shot is what upsets him the most. I think they got like one, two, three sets of handcuffs. They cuffs my, cuff my hands and they flip me over and I'm, stand, I'm laying on the concrete like this right here. I'm bleeding. Day in and day out, Charles works helping the disabled. He just wants to know why the officer fired. So grateful that he's alive and he's able to tell his story. Every time I close my eyes, you know, it's just like I'm just getting seeing flashbacks. So take a live look right now. This group outside the North Miami Police Department. This is the Circle of Brotherhood. They are an organization and they say they want police to answer questions about why this happened and they want to know whether this officer will be charged. North Miami Police have not released much information at all. They are not releasing the officer's name. They are not giving us an update on their investigation, but they did say that the state attorney is now a part of this investigation. Live in North Miami, Brian Enton, 7 News.